My name is, is kind of unique because, you know, I'm, I'm actually an ally. I'm a U.S. born citizen. But even though, you know, having that status, I am still affected by the immigration laws in a way where it um, affects directly to my family, so, so my family members. So, my name is Rain Gutierrez. I'm 23 years old and I come from a family of 11 the middle child of nine kids, and I'm also the first one citizen. So all of those who were older than me were all undocumented. And, you know, I grew up with, I grew up, you know, since a ch as, a, as a child, you know, I grew up with fear of being separated from my family, and that uh, fear came true back in 2008, the day after Christmas, when my, okay, when my dad brought me and my older siblings up to the front room, and he handed out their deportation letters to them. Now, six members of my family who received deportation letters because my former brother in law turned my family into immigration. I was 19 years old and I was actually attending Park Community College at the time. I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what I was going to tell my friends because I was ready to drop out to get jobs so I could take care of my four younger siblings. And so, um, you know, it was a very painful moment in my life, emotional. I didn't know what was going to happen, but you know, fortunately, I mean, because like the deportation date was set a month, you know, to the December 26th, so January 26th, which is actually my nephew's birthday. But um, we found some attorneys who were able to help us, but it was hard to watch each of my family member and going to their court hearing, not knowing what was going to happen. So, I have two siblings, a brother and a sister, who would be Dream Act eligible. And, you know, these two, I have so much respect for them. I admire them. And they are my inspiration. Because, um, you know, these two, they do so well in school. And they strive for higher education. And that's what I'm here, that's why I'm doing this walk because I'm here fighting for them because I've seen that struggle and I've seen the frustration. And it's not right that my brother, who graduated, managed to graduate with two bachelor's degrees in business and he's not able to use them. He's not able to apply his knowledge or anything. And it's just not right to me that, you know, growing up, I was always told of all the you know, what, oh, my privileges, because, you know, I could get a driver's license without fear. I can sign up for scholarships without fear of being rejected. I can get a job, and I can go to any, whatever university or college I want to go to, and not only that, I have the privilege of voting and other things. And so, you know, I, they, Growing up, I've always watched them do, you know, do so good in school, and I struggled in school, but when I got to college, I was trying, you know, and I, I graduated in 2010, same year my brother did, and, you know, I can't move on with my life watching them being held back, because I know how hard they work to get to where they are, and so, in 2010, uh, the Dream Act failed to pass by five votes. And, you know, we had so much hope. And I saw these two lose hope. And that's when I realized it's not, a, it's not enough to just sit back and hope anymore. I had to get up. I had to get involved. And so that was just last year when I barely got involved and I joined the Salt Lake Dream team because, you know, I want, I, I want them to be happy because I love them so much. My family, you know, we're really, really united. And so that's what I'm doing here. That's why I'm walking for them. And so then I chose, you know, to take eight months out of my life to fight for them and to fight with dreamers. Because this, this cause it means so much to me. And that's my story. Thank you.